of taking out the front gardens, taking out the trees. I don't think that was good. I, I think that was an old, almost car-centric model of, of transport systems. It's all about getting everyone in and out, not about the sense of place. I think in fairness to the NTA, they listened to that consultation process, they amended the scheme to like sort of my own area, let's say get very local rat mines, to put in a bus gate, to actually stop the true traffic, same in Kimmage, to, to actually really do this road space reallocation. And that came out of the consultation listening process. The frustration from my mind is that that's not likely to be delivered almost for a decade, as I said, after it started. And that undermines the public consultation, because having won over, in my sense is we, we address a lot of the concerns. The local communities were ready to support, but then the system is so stuck in rigid control around public procurement, code, um, planning, planning system delays, um, procedural, weeds that you, you find it, it then that public consultation you've done is, is, is ancient history by the time you actually get to deliver something on the road. So actually I think yes we need that investment and we'll make sure we look at that on a policy basis but we also need speed that if you are listening and if you do gauge a really good consultation you don't then just turn it into another five year wait for something to happen which is what's been the problem I think within our system. We need to speed up as well as this. Um, we had a meeting last Friday uh, of our Sustainable Mobility Leadership Group in the Department of Transport. It's not just the Department of Transport, it's the Department of Housing, Local Government, it's NTA, TII, academic input, outside expertise input. And we were having that meeting as part of serious meetings we're doing is what we do in the next two to three years. And what we agreed, what the key a message I had coming out of it was system change. We need system change in how we manage and deliver transport. And we need to focus on the next two to three years. It can't be all talk, it has to be actual physical, practical changes on the ground. And we will highlight that next week, towards the end of next week, when we expect to launch what we're calling our Pathfinder projects. The projects that will show example and best practice as to how we deliver accelerated change, faster change. Our system is too slow. Our system takes 10 years to deliver a bus lane. Our system takes 20 years, 25 years to deliver a metro line. We have to act fast if we're going to meet these emissions reductions targets. So these Pathfinder projects will set real hard, fast timelines on local authorities and agencies to deliver systematic change in how our transport system works.